So today I'm going to be showing you how to do a crab or a bridge, however you want to call it. But I decided to do some more basic stretchings, uh, some basic skills. So last time I did my splits video, how to do your splits. So I decided to do something, another kind of basic video, uh, kind of basic skill. So I decided to do how to do a crab. And yeah, I think that splits and then crabs are kind of one of like the most basic um, skills and something that you need to have uh, something that is kind of you know very useful for other uh, skills that you want to achieve that are higher skills these simple and basic skills will get you there so yeah uh, without further ado let's just get on with the video so we're gonna start off with a little warm-up we're going to start off by warming up our wrists and you're gonna do 10 circles inside and then 10 circles outside and then do your other hand. And then do it with both hands. Now standing on your knees, you're gonna turn your hands the other way around so that your fingers are facing towards you and you're gonna pull back a little bit so that you stretch your hands. And now turn your hands over so that your palms are facing upwards and do this slowly. Now keeping one hand straight, push it back and hold out for 10 counts. Now putting your hands behind your head, you're going to get your elbow and then just push it down with your other hand. Uh, sorry, this looks a little bit scary, but my shoulders are naturally flexible, so they do go down a lot. Now we're going to do these arm rotations. So rotate your hand back for 10 times and then forward and then change your hand and then do it with both hands like this. Now we're going to do the same thing, but rotating one hand forward and one hand back. Just try to coordinate this and yeah. Now also we're going to rotate our shoulders back and then forward 10 times. Then do your other shoulder and then if you want you can do it together at the same time like that. Again, you can also try doing one back and one forward. For this, just stretch your hands and move them back and forward. And try to catch your hands behind if you can. Now, also, to warm up your neck, you're going to just go down, look up sideways and then to the other side and then just do a few circles with your head to the right and to the left this last one is my favorite just get your hands from behind keeping your legs straight and just bend down and hold that for 20 seconds Now to warm up our back a little bit, we're going to go into a seal stretch, keeping your legs apart and you can have someone help you push your shoulders back and the tip here is to keep your hands as close to your body as possible. And hold that for 10 seconds and then go back into child's pose to relax. Then again, slide out into seal, but this time bend your knee and hold that for another 10 seconds. Now, stretching your back the other way is very important. So I'm gonna go into monkey and I'm gonna put my knees behind my shoulders and I'm gonna hold that for 8 seconds. Then I'm gonna move to my left and then to my right 
holding it for eight seconds and also don't forget to do this after you do the crab so you can relax your back another exercise is to hug your knees and just roll back and forward Now finally going into crab, you're going to put your hands in this position, keeping your hands close to your ears and your elbows pointing up. And keep your feet apart, but not too close, but not too far apart. And you're going to push up with your hands and lift up your bottom. Make sure to look at your hands the whole time when you do the crab. Also, don't lift up your heels like this, keep them flat on the floor and hold your crab as long as you can and then relax. If you finally manage to do your crab and you want to stretch your back a bit more, the aim here will be to get as close to your feet as possible and maybe even grab your feet. <laughs> so that concludes my how to do a crab video. It's kind of very basic, there isn't much to it but you only have to practice a lot to finally get the skill to you know, finally manage to do it. Also, I'm sorry for the lighting, as you can kind of see, it's like, I don't know, it changes to blue and then kind of yellow, that's because of the light, but I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, like I said, this is another of my basic videos, I try to do more of these. So take it easy, take it slowly and do this every day and then you will for sure get your crab but i know that for example if uh say your wrists start to hurt it's either maybe one you didn't warm up properly or two you just <laughs> tried too hard i know that sometimes when i try really hard to do something and then i just go past my limits and then i am sore and or i hurt something and yeah so if you do um hurt your wrists maybe or something like that just uh, stop for now and relax. Don't do it for a while, like if it still hurts you, for example. Don't do it maybe the next day, again, if it hurts you. You can still stretch your back, you have, you can do different stretches if you, uh, if you want to stretch your back and do a crap, but you, there are many different exercises for you to stretch your back. So, yeah, just uh, relax whenever you need to relax, that's very important. And that's it, I think, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe down below if you're not already and I'll see you next time. Bye!